Hello YouTube, it is your boy B3, back with a killer backache. Yeah, I got a bad back for those of you who don't know. Ooh, I shouldn't have a job on a farm, but I do. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, today we have another cool graphic novel review for you guys today. Really cool trade. Hardcover. It is Godzilla Awakening. Yeah, inspired by the 2014 Godzilla film. It's from Legendary Comics, and it was made by Legendary Pictures, so... Yeah, and it even has the same screenwriter as the movie as the comic writer. So, you know, continuity or whatever. I'm going to give you a quick read-up on the back. The King of the Monsters is reborn. Yeah. Okay. Delve into an incredible mystery generations in the making. At the dawn of the atomic age, humanity awakens life forms beyond imagination, unleashing monumental forces of nature. Godzilla Awakening is the official graphic novel based on the new movie from Warner Brothers Pictures and Legendary Pictures. And reveals an explosive larger-than-life adventure set decades before the movie. Written by Max Bornstein, screenwriter of the new Godzilla, and Greg Bornstein. Illustrated by Eric Battle, X-Men, Green Lantern, Wonder Woman, Yvel Gachet, Pacific Rim, Tales from Your Zero, which we'll also be doing, Superboy, Annual, End of Nations, Alan Qua, Rage, The Vampire Diaries, Anywhere, and Lee Lowridge, Batman Adventures, Arkham Asylum, Living Hell, Marvel Zombies Return, and featuring cover art by Arthur Adams, Godzilla, Fantastic Four, Hulk, Uncanny X-Men. You might recognize Arthur Adams. He did a lot of uh, cover work for the IDW Godzilla books. Yeah, I have a lot of his work, actually. But, um, Godzilla Awakening. Cool book. Uh, it's not very long, as you can clearly see. Uh, so, you know, that nuke one of the news they dropped on Japan awakened this monster that's actually a collection of giant cells. Uh, so it can like form and reform. It looks like a bat scorpion creature, which is pretty cool. Uh, Shinomura, I think is what they called it. It was pretty dope. Uh, but it was flying around and then Monarch was created and Sarazawa's father, who is the protagonist of this book, was recruited to help defeat it. Uh, and this book is him telling his son, Dr. Sarazawa, who's not a doctor yet at the time of this book, but who becomes Dr. Serizal for the movie played by Kim Watanabe. Uh, he's telling him the story, and he's talking about Godzilla, and all this awesome stuff that's going down. So, uh, they're trying to destroy Shinimura, and Godzilla's trying to destroy Shinimura. <laughs> and uh, it's just, it's a pretty straightforward story. It's just them chasing the monsters and learning about them, and then... Uh, they dropped the A-bomb on Godzilla in the end, like they said they did in the movie. It's real basic. Like, there's not too much to go into. Uh, I did see a Biollante and a King Kong reference, I think. I don't think King Kong was officially going to be part of the universe at the time of this book. I really don't think he was. Uh, but it was pretty cool. Uh, now King Kong is. This was canon at first, but I don't think it's canon now. I just want to say that. Uh, it was canon, but now I don't think it is. So that's, you know, that's a that. But it's still a pretty cool book. I really dig the art. It's pretty cool. I'm just telling you stuff while I look for that King Kong Biolante photo. But uh, there was also, like, a giant shrimp monster in it. But, I mean, it didn't do anything. It just kind of died. I was getting eaten. And then it was on display in a lab. So that's that. But lots of cool stuff went down. Nice fights between Godzilla and the Shinimura. Here we go. Uh, see that gorilla back there in the back? You see that rose looking thing right there? Yeah, at least I think that's a rose. I don't know. It looks rose-ish rose -ish to me. It looks plant-like at least. So that's that. But yeah, so it's kind of the story of how Dr. Serizawa was inspired to study Godzilla and why he believes what he does about Godzilla because he got those beliefs from his father etc. Uh, but it's not a bad little book, you know? I wouldn't put it on top of the charts or anything, but uh, it's just a fun little prequel. Uh, once again, I don't think it's in continuity anymore, but I don't care. <laughs> it's a fun Godzilla story. Pretty basic stuff, though. Nothing really groundbreaking in it. But if you're a big Godzilla fan, go ahead and get it, you know? You can get it for a good price on Amazon. I don't remember where I got it for, because I got it back in, like, 2014. So I don't remember where I got it from. Uh, that was years ago. <laughs> but uh, it's still a pretty cool book. So that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below. Facebook, Twitter, etc. And uh, that's it. This has been Godzilla Awakening by Max Borenstein and Greg Borenstein. Yeah, the Borensteins. The Borensteins. Jews. The Borensteins. <laughs>
seconds. <laughs> so that's it. Thank you all once again, and I'll see you all later.